Well, I might consider restart starting the review, the Ofito GG review at this point because we just kind of stuck in queue. I said that, and there's a match found. Let me just have a first glance. Oof. Pain. I'm not gonna comment too much right now. I just wanna have a look, and then after the, this uh, this game, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a deeper review. Tell you what I think you can do better. But it's funny because often when I look at these uh, these accounts, a lot of the mistakes that that uh, many of you viewers make are kind of similar. It's uh, it, it, it's often pretty similar. It could be the champion pool. It could be runes and builds. It could be buying too little control wards. Is a very common one. That's a very common one. Can do three bot cams clear, and then we go from there. Thank you, Anivia. I was kind of playing with fire, not flashing, but I saw Anivia coming. I could look top here. It's playing really far up. Oh, he missed the second bomb, unfortunately. That's kind of all I got. If the second bomb didn't land, he actually would have died. See if he flashes into it. <laughs> he did. He flashed right into it. Moving down. Oh wow! Like this might be bad. They're playing so aggressive. Damn! I underestimated how angry they were. Just went ham. This Rex is so aggro. Like, so incredibly aggressive. Maybe me and Blitz can look for a play here. I shouldn't have used my Q. I would have had it now to kill him. But we should have him in a second anyways. Right? Right? There we got him. My bad, my Q was terrible. I'll see if I can get anything done here. I have tier 2 boots, I'm really fast. No way, she lives. Help me. No. No, guys. Oh, Israel, no. Oh my god. This is so terrible. Can he kill it? Oh, I got a depression. Oh, I'm so sad. How did that go so wrong? Oh, gigantic throw, honestly. It's the gigantic throw. Anivia, Anivia, Anivia! 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 What are you doing, Anivia? Just kill the Rek'Sai, that's so much better. We are ten times stronger in my jungle. So I'll just play with Anivia. There is a duo, and we can do work. He has no clash, he's just gonna die. But lane is losing to the two now. Definitely will have to help them out. power. Rake is up in a minute, we have to secure the streak. There's a chance they swap their bot lanes at top if they want plates, but let's see how they react. Yeah, they are going for the play on mid lane it seems. We cannot have Anivia dying here. Fuck, Anivia is gonna give Tristana a bounty, isn't she? 
Don't give us a twist. She gave us a twist. Damn. Oh, Tristana is getting big. Again, Nivea should be able to carry team fights. Trindamir taking over side lane is my biggest worry right now. Cillian is going to be great in team fights, but I'm not going to have anyone who can deal with Trindamir. You are not getting away from me. Need to defend mid. If they went for me. What the f Okay, never mind. Should have had zero deaths right now, but I can't change it at this point, can I? Get the river control. Victor no flash, Victor no flash. And there we are, there we are. Oh, shit. What's going on? Guys. Everyone's ending. Guys, what are you doing? Wait, why did he hook him? If he didn't hook him, he would have died for nothing. We lost 5 before, yeah, we did. There's too many Indus. Speaking of Indus. That's a good pick. Trist is suiciding. This Trist is not playing very well. Not at all. They need Trist to play really clean to win this game. And she is very aggressive. Ultra aggressive Tristana gameplay. I think they're gonna need a reckless Tristana in this one. Someone who plays really clean and never dies in team fights. I don't wanna finish before Rex dies out. It's dead now. Now we can finish. We're losing a lot. We lost three turrets for Baron. As long as we can push down some turrets ourselves now, like let's say we get three or four turrets, then it's very worth it. Just need to make sure Tristana doesn't kill people. Oh, Janna. Speaking of Tristana killing people, people are dying to her. Boom, you see that damage? That's why I like Divine Thunder on Volleyball. So much damage. I hit hard. Convenient plant for me. Uh, I'm scared of them dying to Trist, but I'm pretty low. I might die for it though. We got in here, we should get out. Trist is just gonna jump someone at some point, she's so aggressive. Like the second she sees a target, she's just gonna jump in. Got it. Fighting Trist, I might die for this. I actually killed her. Well, I'm a monster. Holy, I'm monstrous! The monster volleyball! <laughs> I was just hanging all of them. What are you doing? Look at her! You see what I mean? She's just jumping in without thinking. She just wants to press the W, she can't resist it. Catch. They surrendered! Holy moly! We got the win! The monster volleyball! The monster volleyball! We made it! Feels so good! I'm a happy volleyball player now. I'm very happy. Both of my deaths were really bad, especially the first one. The first death was a big part of why Tristana got so strong, because she snowballed pretty hard off of that kill. 
So if I didn't die those two times, it actually would have been a sick game. I mean, I was still way far ahead of Rek'Sai, but those two deaths really could not, they should not have happened. They were really, really, really illegal deaths, for sure. But now we spoke a bit about like the chem tank volley bear before. This is why I like Sundra. It's just so much damage. You're still pretty hard to kill. And yeah, it's just great all around. You're not just a tank. You kill people. All right. So we had an OP.GG review. Struxa. Very interesting name, by the way. The Sa at the end. I like it. I like it. I like it. Good job. Good stuff. Great creativity. So Silver Free, EU West. 8 wins, 20 losses, 29% win rate. Let's see what we can do to change that. Let's see if I can push you in the right direction. So the next time I see this, this is more like a 60%. That would be beautiful, wouldn't it? You haven't played that many games, so it's very possible. I fully believe. So, most played champs. Trundle, Lee Sin, Diana. And we have some random stuff, like some Leona support and whatnot. Let's have a look at the Trundle, the Lee, and the Diana, because that's your most played. Well, first of all, um, I guess I can say that you're dying too much on Diana. It, it, this is too many deaths, 8 on average, Leona, same thing. Lee and Trundle looks good, I mean, it is good, but we don't like seeing less than 2 KDA. That is not, not ideal. Um, let's have a look at Trundle first. Well, just like with the other person before, the control wards, there's a lot of inconsistency. There's, you bought 9 as a support, I probably should have been higher considering it was a 36 minute support game, but this game you bought 8, 4, there's a game, some games where you bought 2, 2 wards in 37 minutes. And these games playing Corky mid, you didn't even buy a single control ward. Whew. You basically don't buy control wards when you play mid lane, is what I can see here. That is not how it's done, my friend. That is not it. You bought one control ward this game, but the other three games you didn't buy a single one being mid lane. Get a habit regardless what role you play. It doesn't matter which of the five roles. When you are sitting on 25 gold and you're walking out of base, spend that gold on a controlled ward. Just buy one control ward every base. Trundle was your most played. What is your build? You go Sundra into... Titanic. I don't think the build is bad in that sense. I, I think your build is fine. I think going lethal tempo is also right on Trundle nowadays. You into W Max. I think that's also okay. Not sure if I'm gonna have many points for the Trundle. I mean, from what I can see here, it, it seems alright. Pink wards and silver elo are whatever. I disagree. We can agree to disagree. I don't care what elo you're in get some consistency with your pink wards the way you should look at it being a league player is that let's say let's say a hundred percent is like perfect gameplay like doing everything flawless and then the lowest is like one percent you want to get as close to 100 percent as you possibly can a way to increase with a couple of percentages it but is by being consistent when it comes to control wards and vision in general Vision is really important, even if you're an iron, it can make a difference for you. If not for your teammates, then, you know, it can help you. Like, you're gonna have more knowledge, you're gonna have more vision. And it's just good all around, good for everyone. In Challenger, I also can have games where I place a pink ward for someone, I spam ping the lane on the back and they still die. It happens in every elo. But yeah, I don't, I don't really know if there's much I can really comment on for like the trundle i think the one thing is that you're playing trundle in some cases where trundle is just not good what you need to keep in mind is that trundle is a champion that is good situationally he's good when there's tanks on the enemy team so this trundle game they have zero tanks this trundle game they have olaf it's it's all right javan Jax, i don't really count it as a tank you play trundle in three games where they don't have a tank on the enemy team not ideal not ideal um, so I think it's like Trundle is your most played champion. I can't blame you for liking Trundle, that's fair. He's just a type of champion just not, that's not always going to be good. I think be mindful of who you ult in teamfights. Just make sure you ult one of the frontline targets, the ones that your carries can actually hit. Because with Trundle you need to play around your carries. The ult is going to make someone easier to kill, but if your carries are not able to hit that person, then it's not really going to help you much. So... 
keep doing your thing. Uh, in an ideal world, you're a bit mindful about when you pick Trundle. Don't pick it if they don't have a single tank. And then play around your carry as well in team fights. I think uh, that could make a difference for you on Diana. There's two Halo of Blades Diana games. Not a big fan. Go Conqueror. What runes did you go for on this Diana game? These runes are good. Just go for these runes. I know it was a rough game. Don't let it uh, fool you into going Halo of Blades Diana. I, I would, you know, like to see you going this. I think in general, on Diana, you're dying a lot. Optimize your build a bit by going Hextech Rocket Belt into Sonya instead of Nashor's Tooth because Diana is a champion that generally has a high chance of dying a lot because you're just all inning and it's difficult for you to come out but if you buy Sonya second instead of Nashor's Tooth you're gonna have a lot more ways to play out the team fights and you're not gonna have to play as much on the edge it's like if you go Nashor's Tooth second you're basically a glass cannon which can work but it requires you to play incredibly well and even for me I think I, I even like myself just getting rocket built into Sonya. It's just super good for team fighting. Um, so that's a little optimization for her. For the Bambi, well, from what I can see, it looks pretty good. I uh, I like it. Um, there was some Lee Sin as well down here. Not too bad. I would probably advise you to go last stand tenacity in both games. That's what I do. Just to optimize the runes a little bit and the Lee Sin. But I think the build generally seems fine. I mean, we're playing on a new patch for now. Instead of going Godringer into Starax, you want to go Godringer into Cleaver. And then third, you can get either GA or Death Stance. Just play more games. You haven't played that much yet. So again, similar to the previous account, there's just not too much data for me to, to look at, right? Um, just play more. And optimize your champion pool you're playing a lot of different champions in a perfect world you would have two to three champions I, uh, let's say two champions that you've played far more than all the others because uh, you've played a, 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 a bunch of different stuff so if this was like trundle and lee sin like much more games than the rest then i think it would be it would be good just to you know limit the champion pool a little bit I find Sins to be similar, slightly different playstyle with easy stat checker in early game. Similar to Trundle? Yeah, for sure. I think uh, instead of just picking Trundle every game, could consider picking something like Sinsao, like Javan, even a Hecarim. Um, so Sin is pretty similar to Trundle in a lot of ways for sure.